For this course, we are going to be using Revit. So you can get access to this application by downloading a free software for students or educators. Simply search for Revit Education. And once you find this link from Autodesk, you can right click, open that in a new window. Okay, you'll be asked to log in or create an account. Now, if you don't have an account yet, okay, you can create an account and uh, use your school email address. So I do have an account here, so I will simply log in. My account has been verified already by Autodesk, so I'm just going to log in. You might need to be uh, verified whether you belong to that institution. So there might be an extra step, especially if you are downloading an application. So your password will be different from your school password when you create an account. So don't use your school password. Okay. So once you have signed in, okay, you'll be recognized and you can now since I'm here in Revit, I can download that particular application. There are different software that you can actually access. So let me just right click here under free software. Okay, so you do have access to a lot of different applications that you can download and use to follow the tutorials that you find online in YouTube or in this uh, channel. So there's a lot and uh, Autodesk allows you to use this for you to be able to practice as you learn the application. So we have here, or you can choose here personal or individual use since this is just for your laptop. Again, this is Revit. And uh, for the version, it's important that we use the same version because we cannot open the files from uh, another version. So I've tried installing Revit 2021, but unfortunately it's not allowing me to do so. There are some issues with my laptop, I guess. So I installed Revit 2020, but for this video, I'm try going to try to reinstall or install uh, version 2021. So again, I don't have access to this. Uh, I'll try again and see maybe I might be successful. So Windows 64 bit and uh, language English. So Autodesk issues you a serial number product key. And down below, you see here that this is a license for a year. Okay, so you can click on install now. Okay, simply agree to this, install, and you're asked to download the installation, installation uh, file. So you can place this, I'll just place here in download. As you see, I've already downloaded this. I'll just re-download that and start the installation. Okay, you'll be asked if you would like to allow this application to cha make changes to your device. Just say yes. Okay, so I've done that. And then this appears. So you can click on install on this computer. See, to start installing or determining the requirements if your laptop is or uh, passes the system requirement for you to use Revit 2021. Okay, so I'm just going to pause this. Okay, so after determining that I am able to, or I should be able to, uh, or I have the proper uh, system requirement, 
I'm now brought to this particular page. Okay, so I'm going to install, click on install. Revit XC. So I have Revit running in the background. So I'm going to turn that off. So this is uh, Revit 2020. So I'm going to close this for now. I'll click OK. And click OK to that. Let's see. Okay. And inst the installation process will resume. So I'll pause the video again. You will get an email from Autodesk regarding your software uh, information. But you, as you can see, my installation was incomplete. If it was successful, this will just say completed and you need to restart your computer for the installation to uh, set up to be accepted. Okay, unfortunately, I'm not able to install Autodesk 2021. Uh, so if we can, just simply use Autodesk 2020. So I'll just click on finish to this. And uh, that's how you install your application. So once you have installed your application, you should be able to see the icon for Revit. So I have placed that in my uh, taskbar. So it's right, right over here. And I can start using Revit. So again, I was only successful installing Revit 2020, but the process for installation is similar to the process I went through for installing Revit 2021, although unsuccessful.